have three layers. I have my background, I have the border that I just created, the, the border layer, and then I have uh, the layer that I named Hawaii that has my picture of Hawaii. And that one's hidden. So we're gonna go to, back to the border and make that active. And now I'm on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on my brush, right here, my brush tool. And then I'm going to select a color. It could be any dark color. In this case, I'll just keep it black. That's fine. Now, at the very top, you're going to see you have options here for your brushes, right? Now, I have some loaded brushes already, but you can kind of you can customize this however you want. So, I'll try one of my custom brushes so you can see what I'm doing here. But you can do this pretty much with any brush. So, what I'm going to do is Oh, one more thing, I'm sorry. Uh, make sure that your mode is set for normal, opacity 100, and we can see that. And the uh, flow, I'm keeping it at 100 as well. So we have normal, 100, 100. All right, now I have this brush. Now this brush can be uh, fairly large. You can start off large and then change it up. It's up to you. Um, I'm gonna start like this, see that? So I'll just start like just roughly painting along the edge without actually going off to the off the edge anywhere. So I'm just painting here. It's kind of rough. I'm doing that on purpose. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start filling this in. I can probably use larger brushes here and kind of you know do this kind of rough with this brush. All right. So something like this I intentionally want some of those white gaps in there, so that's fine. All right, so remember, look, I made that on my border, okay? So now I'm gonna turn the background off so you can see this. You're gonna notice that everything that is not black has the checkerboard pattern, and the checkerboard pattern represents what? Anyone? Yes. Transparency, yes, transparency is correct. Okay, so, also remember, whenever we have something we want to use as, a, as a, a selection, we can go to our Layers palette. I can hold Command and click on, see that, the little symbol that comes up? I'll make it bigger so you can see it. So I can click on this and it, be, it turns into a selection. All right, you can, it's hard to see, but let me zoom in so you can kind of see it. See those little marching ants? Yeah. Okay. All right, but we're not going to do that just yet. I'm gonna go back now to my picture and I wanna position it somewhere in here. I say, oh, well, this is kinda of cool. Bring it right about there maybe. And maybe I wanna make it a little bigger so it goes, it fills in this whole border. So just grab that, make it slightly larger there and slightly larger right about there. Okay, so now it's covering up that. So again, I'm gonna go back, hold Command and click on my border and now I made a selection. And then notice how Hawaii is now the active layer, right? So because it's the active layer, let me bring this up so you can see this better. And I'm gonna move this closer so you can see that. This icon right here is called layer mask. Let me zoom in so you can see that one. Add layer mask. So look what happens when I click on it. It now turned it into, and here I'll put a little white background so you can see that. So now it has a picture with a little bit of style to it, right? Nice, simple, you know, rough frame. And what's nice about this, and I can turn this one off, by the way, the other one, the one that was under it now, because I don't need it anymore, because now it's masks. Notice how, look, this is the mask of this. See that? And it's revealing only everything that's in white is being revealed. Everything that is black is being hidden. So I have this going on. Now look, there's all sorts of things you can do to this to make it like more distressed looking. So I could switch brushes. I can go back to my main brush and I say, well, you know what? Maybe I want to change the opacity a little bit uh, or quite a bit actually. And I want to go to my mask layer right here. Let's say I want to make some areas a little bit lighter. So again, I got a big brush here. Um, so when I start clicking on here, you can see, or here, I'll do like a quick pass so you can kind of see. See how it starts to kind of fade out certain areas, yeah. right? 
So because I'm basically uh, hiding more of it. Now I would probably just do something like this to distress it so that I can put some typography over it maybe. You know, something like that. But that's how you do a very simple uh, distressed frame. You know, you could do this pretty much with anything. I'll do another one really, really fast so you can see it. I'll make another blank uh, layer. And this time we're going to use a far simpler brush. So let's go here. Let's just pick a basic brush. Let's see, we have wet media. Let's try one of these. I don't know how these are going to work, but we'll try it out. All right, my settings are good. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And let's see what we get here. All right, this one's pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, not exactly. And you know what's cool about this? You can kind of scribble it. You can do whatever you want. I'm just doing a quick little paint job here. You want to get some extra bumps in there, you can. Just make it look interesting, you know? Then you can go back and kind of just like fill it in however you want. Okay, so same idea, hold command. Actually, before I do that, let me take this. I'm gonna duplicate this layer because I wanna delete the mask on this one because I want my image back. Delete, okay, there we go. I'm gonna hide that one. So. Here's my other border, hold command, go to the layer that has the, the copy of Hawaii, and then make a mask, and now I have another mask. All right, let's get a better idea of what this looks like by zooming in a little bit more. You can kind of see, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. You know, these are cool, like you've seen these, I'm sure this technique in like greeting cards, you've seen it on t-shirts, you know, when they have like that rough little edge, you know. So it's a simple, simple technique. You can use basic Photoshop brushes. As long as you, know, as long as you learn how to mask, you can, you can perform this.